Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, space weather science, star water. We're entering an earthquake watch, and we've got a great video from last night for you to check out. But first, let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were very calm, absolutely no sunspots or solar flares. But the CME we've been waiting for did indeed impact yesterday. The increased telemetry values you see here show characteristics of a weak coronal hole stream and weak CME combined. None of the data readings get up into scary range, and we've just got minor magnetospheric instability. There are likely to have been some localized storm conditions across Europe, but the rest of the magnetic perturbations were either over the ocean or uninhabited regions. Equatorial electrojet barely even noticed. And you can see on the U.S. geoelectric potential, we were in moderately calm range to slightly enhanced throughout the process, enough to tell the sun was having an effect, but not enough to really do anything. It's this next coronal hole that really has my focus. As of this morning's data, still suggesting the IMF is the strongest on our star, both in terms of field strength and its equatorial position. Still got two or three days before its solar wind arrives, but the connections to Earth are beginning now, and the earthquake warning is surging upward. Let's go to the news, where the heliospheric fleet has used its different looks at a CME to create a 3D model of the eruption. It is noteworthy that they saw fit to track the shockwave blast that would have the proton stream limit and the corkscrewing helical vortex CME housed within that outer cloud. Terrific recognition there. Up next, this animation is from the James Webb Telescope team. Article link describes how interstellar water, although having a nice cloaking mechanism against our current technology, has no way to hide from the web. It also traps dust. Moving on. Lastly, folks, I did a fun interview with Robert Felix last night. A lot of it is what you already know, but he adds a historical perspective and brings in some topics I haven't even thought of yet. Link is below as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Earthquake risk rising fast. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.